Okay. It's Tuesday. March 17th. Right now it's 8.18. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Planet Fitness. At approximately 7.30 this evening, the Broward County Sheriff came and told Planet Fitness that by order of the Fort Lauderdale Mayor, all fitness facilities are closed. This is a declaration of martial law. Understand that clearly. This is martial law. When officials close down commerce, it's martial law. When citizens are not permitted to do the things that they normally do, go where they normally go, and to go into Planet Fitness, you must have a membership. So everyone who goes into Planet Fitness pays to go in there. Even paying to go where you want to go has been stopped. Oh, I know my debit card did get charged for this month. I know that. Even so, I can't go into Planet Fitness. None of the other members can go into Planet Fitness. Or any other gym, fitness center, whatever you want to call it, in Broward County, Florida. This is what I expected when the coronavirus was first announced and the way that it spread. This is what I anticipated would happen. I don't know throughout the rest of the shopping center what stores are open. I know two stores, three stores, Marshalls is closed, Five Below is closed, DTLR is closed. They don't close until 9 o'clock. They were closed down at 7.30. Let's take a drive over to Walmart. See if Walmart is closed. I see cars out there. But they just might be cars that are, you know, <clears throat> customers who are who were inside and they're waiting for them to leave, finish shopping. understand what martial law means. It means that we will have curfews, quarantines, whatever you want to call it. You see? Plaza's empty. I don't know why the phone's not focusing. Doesn't really matter. You can see these stores leave the lights on. Leave the lights on all night. But DTLR is shuttered. They have shutters on the inside. You can't really tell. <sighs> For a nomad, I have to admit, this is rather frightening. It's more frightening than being in my van overnight. Because I was told the other night, a guy with a flashing light came over and said there's no overnight parking in about 30 minutes they're going to start towing there are quite a few cars in the parking area I don't see a lot of people exiting there's two people that don't have anything in their hands There are actually more cars 
here now than they were on Sunday when I was here. Under martial law, I can tell you, you have to get off the street. You have, you cannot be outside walking around. You have to be inside somewhere in a quarantine area or in an isolation area or whatever they tell you, or they will put you in an isolation area, also known as a jail, also known as a collection center, also known as a concentration camp. Call it what you want. It's for human beings are herded together and put under the rule of the authorities. Last night and this morning there were a ton of nomads here. There aren't now. I guess they were told not to be here. I don't know. I'm mightily upset. Planet Fitness is where I go to get a shower. It's where I go to use the restroom. Because it is a clean facility. Now it's closed. So where am I going to get a shower? I don't know. I don't know. I bought few packages of wipes. They're small wipes. They're not the baby wipes, the big baby wipes. Bought a few packages of wipes. So, you know, I can wipe off with those. It's not the same as a nice shower, but uh, I can maintain personal hygiene with them. Nomads that are near the cities are going to have a big problem. Don't forget, the nomads that are on BLM land, Bureau of Land Management, governed by the government, they could be told that they can't leave there. You know, it's whatever the government decides. Oh, we got all these people that don't have a ha home. There are, you know, nomads are already considered human trash. Let's face it, come on, come on. You know, I'm a nomad. I'm not saying anything that nomads don't already know. That's the way general society looks at nomads. And troublemakers, you know, it's the trash that lives in the vehicles that trash up the parks and blah, 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 blah. You know, nomads are blamed for everything. Just like gypsies over the centuries were blamed for everything in a town and a community. So, can, since... Society at large considers nomads to be of no value, not contributing to society. Simple thing to rid society of the nomads. 
with a crop duster plane that drops poison on him. Hey, I'm not telling you anything that Saddam Hussein didn't already do. Because Saddam Hussein thought certain people in his country had no value. So he eliminated them. This coronavirus, and I believe this with every bit of my being, was released intentionally. This whole exercise in trying to keep people secure, what they do first, they instilled tremendous fear that people are going to be dropping dead all over the place. Now they're saying the symptoms are quite mild. You might get pneumonia, but you can actually get corona and um, it'll be mild and you'll recover from it. It's not what they were saying originally. But that's what they're telling us now. So unless you go into pneumonia, you'll be okay. You'll get over it. You can see by the small percentage of people who've died worldwide, the people aren't dropping like flies. So why did they instill all that fear in us? Because when people are afraid, they look to authority to guide them. So here we are. The authorities are telling us what to do, where to go, where not to go, when to be there, when not to be there. Yeah. All the comments on social media about people who they made fun of for hoarding toilet paper. And for hoarding food and other things. Well, you know what? Maybe those people are just survivors. They gathered what they could gather, so they had it for themselves and their family. Because when it comes right down to it, you're not going to care about your neighbor if your family is starving. You will steal from your neighbor. Some people will kill their neighbor, neighbor and eat their neighbor to survive. That's been documented throughout history. Instinct to survive is very strong in humans. Okay, guys. I'm, I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Of course I'm stressed. Because this is just the beginning. I'm looking at, at this parking lot, which is half full. Walmart parking lot. See? Walmart versus sign. Oh, can't see it. I don't know why the phone isn't doing a good job tonight of focusing well. Oh, what's that light behind me? Why are there two big yellow lights over there? I don't know. Which is another thing. In this parking area yesterday, my phone would not work. People could not hear me. When I got out of this area, people could hear me fine on my phone. Planet Fitness's phone is not working right. Why is that? I believe the phones are being jammed. Our communications are going to go down. This is not a joke. Find the blessing. Search. Good night.